What's up guys? Welcome back to Back Road Driver. We're the Mazda brothers. Today we're doing a mod on Sam's 2021 F-150. It's a real simple mod, but it's gonna fix a pretty bad problem. And we had to wait until we got a rainy day to do this. Your problem is that you got greasy fingers because you've been eating fast food and then you're swapping all over your screen and your screen looks like somebody's been eating off of it. But they put that really nice like desktop in there so you can really lay it out and lay your cheeseburger and your fries out and it's yeah. freaking awesome. But then your screen's nasty. Yep, because all you got is some little napkins and you can't really get your hands clean and then you go to touching everything. So what we're gonna do is fix that and we're gonna make our screen matte and we're gonna make it protected. And you're not gonna see all those fingerprints and grease anymore. You don't have to worry about your wedding ring or some keys digging into that screen and then you got that big blemish for the rest of the time you're on the truck and you can't stand it anymore. You know what I'm talking about. The screen costs a couple, like probably two, three grand. Who knows what it would cost to fix It's probably a million dollars to fix that Probably. Screen. Like a million, even though the truck's only 60K. So we're gonna do a quick run through on how to put this on. It's not gonna be a boring install video. We're gonna keep it spicy. We're gonna get this thing on, but watch the whole video. We're gonna show you what this looks like here in just a second after we get it on. Here's your problem. You got these fingerprints all over the place. It's where you've been touching it. And you just, it's all greasy looking and you gotta look at that all the time. With the gloss finish, that is never gonna change. You're always gonna have that problem. You're gonna have to carry a rag around and soap around with you to clean that off all the time. We don't want you to have to do that anymore, guys. So here's what we got. This is gonna be a matte screen protector for your 2021 F-150 from the OCDplug.com. They've got these for a ton of vehicles, so we'll also put their website in the link so you can check that out. This, this company's pretty awesome. Let's go check out what's in this box. So in the box, you're gonna have your matte screen protector. You're also gonna get some instructions. You're gonna get an alcohol prep pad, soft microfiber applicator, and a little spray bottle. And you're gonna put a drop or two of soap in this thing. Look at the mixing instructions here and add a little water and this is going to help you put this screen protector on and slide it around and get it where you want it on the uh, truck so this is what your film is going to look like you want to get it good and flattened out so uh, unroll it and uh, lay it down for a little bit get it uh, nice and flat so it's easy to work with um, let's get some of this mixed up there we go First off, I'm gonna take a uh, microfiber I had laying around and get all of the hamburger grease off the front of my screen. French fries, all that kind of stuff. You wanna make sure you clean all the way around this thing right now. Get any dust, any debris off of here. If you've had your vehicle for a long time and your vents are already cruddy and everything, go ahead and clean that up. That way, when you're putting this on, you don't have to worry about getting any contaminants on and you're going to be much happier with the end result. So even though I used a pretty decent microfiber, there's going to be little tiny bits of microfiber on your screen. You're going to have to get all that off when you're doing your prep work. That's why they send this type of microfiber. It doesn't have the little fibers that can get out. This is what you're going to want to use for your final prep because you don't want to leave all those little tiny specks of microfiber off of a regular cloth. Now, we're gonna pull out the alcohol prep pad. We're gonna rub the screen down good. This is gonna make sure any type of oils, any type of cleaning products, any of that kind of stuff is off. So you end up with good adhesion. Now that we've done that, we're gonna take this microfiber and we're going to polish this out. There. Still seeing a little bit of dust and that sort of thing. You want to make sure you get all that off. Shake this out. 
just to show you how much dust is laying around comes off of the cotton swab comes off of your microfiber anything that causes this much dust you're going to need to clean this up when you're done prepping for your screen protector to go on you want this thing to be spotless or you're going to have a little bubble or something in there so it's prep is the name of the game here guys clean 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 while sam's finishing up inside go ahead and give this video a thumbs up it helps us a lot with youtube and also if you haven't already subscribe and then comment down below i subscribe sam will personally come in the comments and thank you for subscribing to the channel hey man i was up till two o'clock last night answering all those questions man you gotta help me out he loves it he never has to sleep so go ahead and just comment it i subscribe say say hello to sam he's really good at this stuff and he loves staying up late and talking with you guys as soon as i prepped the screen and everything i went and washed my hands again that way they're good and clean and it's not going to stick to the back side of this or anything next we're going to take our solution here with soap as we peel this off we're going to spray some on there we're going to spray some on your fingers that way that when you touch this it's not going to affect anything we're also going to mist the screen itself don't want to get it too wet it's just going to make it harder to get everything out from out behind it but just enough to where you can slide it around. We'll show you how. Right. We're gonna wet this down a little bit at a time as we peel it back. I may have a little too much on there. Probably could have done with a little bit less, but we'll be fine. So now we want to stick it on here. Get some of the major bubbles out. And now you can float this thing around. You're gonna have just a little bit around the edges. When you get it lined up where you want, we'll take my tip, tip of the day is you can take the corners, once you get it lined up, press a little bit harder, press a couple places, just kind of lock it in a little bit. You still got to be careful when we go to squidge in here. That's going to lock that in. Now you want to work things out to the edge, nice and easy. If you're nice and easy with it, don't need to spray this but I'm gonna go ahead and spray some on the front just as a little uh, lubrication so we don't get any scratches about from this uh, applicator remember to work inside out you want to move everything to the outside and before you finish in a spot make sure you leave room to get all everything behind it out so just work your way to the outside now you can see why we cleaned really good around all the edges because you're going to have all this water running around and it's going to pull that dust right into the sides and then you'll have to look at that for the rest of your life so now that we've got that on let's grab a rag and lightly wipe up all the excess water be careful when you're rubbing these edges you don't want to rub this up underneath it or anything just lightly clean it off and we're gonna let this dry up i happen to not have any bubbles that i can see if you do have a bubble a, a small one or whatever don't worry about it it's kind of like tinted windows those will come out when the sun and heat gets in there it will suck that moisture out um, so don't worry if you don't get a perfect uh, bubble free job like this over time give it a day or two it'll look perfect as well big shout out to josh at the ocd plug he saw sam modding this truck and knew that this would be a product we would want if you want the one for the 2021 f-150 there's a link in the description if you've got another vehicle he probably already has that there's also a link just to their site where you can put in what your vehicle is 
OCD Plug also has another product that they're just releasing for the 21 F-150. That's in the mail coming to us, so we're going to have a video on that really soon. But Sam's going to show you what that problem is, and then we're going to show you the finished product. So on your 21 F-150, you've got this piano black piece of plastic, and no matter what product you put on there, you're going to have some very fine scratches. It's going to get scuffed up. I actually run this truck through the car wash. I know some of you guys are cringing, but man, it's just how I roll. I use the car wash. It puts all kinds of scuffs in these, and I'm going to end up polishing those out. We're going to put some protection on there that's going to be glossed just like this and no more scratches all right guys i'm gonna brag a little bit i am the best at putting on screen protectors this is perfect and it's because i've been putting on vinyl products my entire life we used to have a sign company so this was nothing but i was really surprised at how easy this did go on using the soap solution you can squidgy out the bubbles really easy um, you're going to want to give this a day or two in the sun to let any of the uh, there'll be a little bit of haziness I'll say that uh, in a couple spots but after a day or two in the sun that'll all go away anybody could do this in a few minutes and um, I like the finished product here now I don't have fingerprints all over my screen if you got french fry fingers you're still going to put a little bit of grease on here but it's not going to show up like it does on a shiny screen, a gloss screen. The matte finish on this looks a whole lot better than the gloss. It's also going to knock down reflection on sunny days when it's coming in and you're having a hard time seeing it. Not going to have those issues anymore. Uh, the lighting we have in here, now that we've put this matte finish on, you can't see it in the uh, reflection. So this is going to help fix a ton of problems, guys. Can't recommend it enough. Easy, simple mod you can do yourself at home. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.